like this angle better so you can see my bed and I'm like the bathroom. Okay. Okay. I don't know what that was, but let's just get into the video. <laughs> Me, Shara Dandy, and I'm back with another video. Happy spooky season. This is literally my favorite time of year because I love getting scared. The blade of wing fun was haunted! I thought it would be fun to do like a get ready with me type video while I tell you what you have to watch this Halloween on the streaming platforms. This was the finished look, but I forgot to film the intro after I finished the makeup. This is like the three hours later look after I rub my eyes. So this video will be split into three parts by streaming platform. I will include a timestamp for your convenience. First, we're gonna do Netflix. I would recommend Poltergeist, the 1982 movie. I mean, it was written by Steven Spielberg. It's classic, let's be real. Next is Green Room, which is totally freaking terrifying. Let me tell you what it's about. It's about some crazy killer white supremacists. I mean, that sums it up pretty well. So I live in Texas and the state's huge, obviously, but there's so many small towns. I'm like convinced there's some crazy white murdery guys in these small towns. So pass on that. But Green Room is so good. My homeboy Anton Yelchin is in it. <laughs> Rest in peace. So good, good as in gory and terrifying. Next, the classic 1981, The Evil Dead. So I personally like the remake better than the original, but obviously you can't have a remake without an original. The like style is a little dated, but it's still gory and it's still scary. Next is Hush. It's about a deaf and mute girl who gets terrorized by a masked stranger for a night. Also, it's directed by Mike Flanagan, who did Haunted Hill House, and it stars Kate Siegel, his wife, by the way, and she's like the best character in Haunted Hill House. Like, do I need to say more? Next, As Above, So Below. It's about these kids who go into the French catacombs and encounter some scary sh and it's terrifying, gave me nightmares. Okay, next is Hulu. First on Hulu is The Cabin in the Woods, which is basically a parody of The Evil Dead. So you should watch The Evil Dead on Netflix and then hop on over to Hulu and watch Cabin in the Woods. It's not really scary, but it's good. Next is Oculus, which isn't my favorite, but it's directed by Mike Flanagan and I love him. Next is The Omen. It's the 2006 version, which isn't as good, but it's still creepy. Next is Omen, which basically follows the soldiers who like find these weird people that were being experimented on by the Nazis. So it's like really creepy. It's really gory. I would only suggest watching it if you like like horror movies because it's not really a good movie for like the casual horror movie watcher. Moving on, Let the Right One In, which is a Swedish movie. If you don't mind subtitles, I definitely recommend it. And there is an American version, but it's basically about this child vampire or something. I don't know. <coughs> I'm dying. Coronavirus! If y'all are like watching this and you're like, oh my gosh, she's doing her contour wrong girl i probably am so i feel like when i do contour i'm just like rubbing dirt on my face i used to be really bad at makeup and now i've improved a little actually i like to use this brush i don't know if this is wrong i just like smudge it this is like really bad lighting next is amazon prime okay so you can also watch overlord and cabin in the woods on amazon prime for freezies Okay, first you have to watch Hereditary. I'm gonna make a video about it probably. So scary. Also, Midsommar is on there. And that's also directed by the same guy who directed Hereditary, Ari Aster. That guy, he is a crazy person. Like, I don't know if I'd wanna meet him in real life. Silent Hill is on there too. It's kind of like a last resort, like if you're like out of movies to watch you. I'd rather play the video game. Next is Secret Window, which again is not really a scary movie. It's more of a thriller, but it's still creepy and it's got like young-ish Johnny Depp in it. I'm gonna do my eyes off camera because it'll take forever. Okay, the last movie that you should watch that's on Amazon Prime is Village. 
much like there's not really that many scary movies on amazon prime besides the ones i already stated it's more of a thriller but you know whatever okay so this is the finished look I actually like it. Too bad I'm not going anywhere. Also, another good, fun, spooky thing you can do is listen to Full Body Chills, the podcast. Oh my gosh, it's so scary. They just started season two and I'm like, oh, a little scary. Subscribe because I post new videos every Monday and sometimes on Thursdays if I'm bored. Okay, that's it. Bye. Say bye, Lily.